Hi, I'm Don Kane, and today I'm going to take a look at Oberheim SEM from Arturia for PluginBoutique.com. It's a classic synth with some modern new features to boot, so let's take a look. I'll show you what it can do. So this is the layout of Oberheim SEM. As you can see, it's a remodeled software version of the old classic Oberheim synth with two main oscillators here and a sub oscillator to the left which can be one or two octaves below the main oscillators and either a sine, saw or square wave. Before I go through this in any more detail though I just want to show you some of the presets it's got available built in. So each oscillator allows control of separate frequencies, but also a sync button here to make them into one summed frequency. Uh, you can also assign modulation control of frequency or pulse width to be modulated by the envelope, uh, LFO1 or LFO2, and then change the overall pulse width too. To the right of the oscillators is the filter where you can change the frequency and cutoff here and also assign an amount of modulation here to be modulated by the envelope or LFOs. There's also an option to manipulate the type of filter here from a bandpass, low pass, notch and high pass filter too. Underneath the filter and oscillators are the envelopes for attack, decay and sustain and the LFO. Let's say I wanted to assign the LFO to the filter all I do here is load up a sound, let's go to all types, then bass, and then choose the first one there, and let's just hear that as it is. Now let's use the switch in the filter control to assign it to LFO1 and then increase the modulation amount dial above that and it should now be wobbling like this. Now let's try the arpeggiator down here. I really like this arpeggiator purely because it's so simple. I just switch it on like this, choose the octave range and then let's hear the same notes. There are also sync buttons and you can change the rate here and you can also change the direction of the arpeggiator here too. But that's basically it. Then up here you can see there are three effects units giving you overdrive, chorus and delay and the option to soft clip the output below the master volume control here. Finally, one of my favourite things about the Arturia plugins is the ease of programming. Up at the top right hand side here you'll see a MIDI button and if I click this you can see all the switches and dials turn purple allowing you to select one then use a MIDI controller to assign it to that dial. It couldn't be any easier. So I'll just finish off now with a few more presets to play. So that's the basics of Oberheim SEM and it's available via PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers, see you soon. Thank you.